Hey there, food lovers. Are you ready to embark on a culinary adventure? Today, we're diving into a recipe that's all about crispy, flavorful, goodness garlic potato rings. These are not just any potato rings. They are infused with the rich, aromatic flavor of garlic. These golden rings are the perfect snack or side dish, guaranteed to satisfy your cravings. Imagine biting into a ring that's crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. Whether you're hosting a game day gathering, need a crowd-pleasing appetizer, or simply want a tasty treat, garlic potato rings are the way to go. They are versatile and can fit any occasion. Get ready for a flavor explosion. The combination of crispy texture and garlicky aroma will leave you wanting more. They're crispy on the outside, tender on the inside, and bursting with garlicky flavor. Each bite is a delightful experience. I'm going to show you my secret tips and tricks to make the best garlic potato rings you've ever had. From selecting the right potatoes to achieving the perfect crispiness, I've got you covered. Trust me, this recipe is a keeper. Once you try it, you'll be making these garlic potato rings over and over again. Before we get started, let's gather our ingredients. Having everything ready will make the cooking process smooth and enjoyable. Don't worry, everything is easy to find at your local grocery store. Here's what we'll need to make these delicious garlic potato rings. Russet potatoes. These are the best for making potato rings because they have a nice starchy texture. Their firmness helps them hold their shape during frying. Garlic. We'll use plenty of fresh garlic to infuse those rings with incredible flavor. Fresh garlic gives a more robust taste compared to garlic powder. All-purpose flour. This will help our breading stick to the potato rings. It creates a nice base layer for the eggs and breadcrumbs. Eggs. We'll whisk these up to create a binder for the breadcrumbs. The eggs help the breadcrumbs adhere better, giving a perfect coating. Breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs are my favorite for extra crunch. They stay crispy and add a delightful texture to the potato rings. Salt and pepper. To season our potato rings to perfection. A little seasoning goes a long way in enhancing the flavors. Vegetable oil. For frying our potato rings to golden brown deliciousness, make sure to use enough oil to submerge the rings for even cooking. Once you have everything gathered, it's time to move on to the fun part. Cooking. Get ready to make some crispy, flavorful garlic potato rings that everyone will love. Now let's talk potatoes. We'll start by washing and peeling our russet potatoes. Then, using a sharp knife or a mandolin slicer, carefully slice the potatoes into half-inch thick rings. We want them to be nice and even so they cook evenly. Here's a little secret for extra crispy potato rings. Soak the sliced potatoes in cold water for about 30 minutes. This removes excess starch, which helps them crisp up beautifully in the fryer. Section 4. Setting up your breading station. Flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. While the potatoes are soaking, let's set up our breading station. This makes the breading process so much easier and organized. You'll need three shallow dishes. In the first dish, add the all-purpose flour. Season it generously with salt and pepper. In the second dish, crack the eggs and whisk them together until light and frothy. In the third dish, pour in the breadcrumbs. You can use plain breadcrumbs, but I highly recommend panko breadcrumbs for extra crunch. Section five, the art of breading. Coating the potato rings to perfection. Now that our breading station is ready, let's drain the soaked potato rings and pat them dry with paper towels. We want to remove any excess moisture so the breading adheres properly. Now for the fun part, breading. Take each potato ring and dip it into the flour mixture, ensuring it's fully coated. Then dip it into the whisked eggs, letting any excess drip off. Finally, dredge the ring in the breadcrumbs, pressing gently to help them stick. Repeat this process with all the potato rings. Section six, frying for golden perfection. Achieving crispy and delicious rings. It's time to fry our potato rings to crispy perfection. This is where the magic happens, transforming simple ingredients into a delightful treat. Fill a large pot or Dutch oven with about three inches of vegetable oil. This depth ensures even frying and helps achieve that perfect crispiness. Heat the oil over medium-high heat to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Using a thermometer is key to maintaining the right temperature. You can test the oil by dropping in a small piece of bread. If it sizzles and turns golden brown quickly, the oil is ready. This simple test ensures your oil is at the perfect frying temperature. 
carefully lower a few breaded potato rings into the hot oil, making sure not to overcrowd the pot. Overcrowding can lower the oil temperature and result in soggy rings. Fry the rings for about two to three minutes per side or until they're golden brown and crispy. Keep an eye on them to avoid overcooking. Once they're cooked, remove the potato rings from the oil using a slotted spoon and place them on a wire rack or a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. This step is crucial for maintaining their crispiness. This helps them stay crispy. Enjoy your perfectly fried golden brown potato rings as a snack or a side dish. They're sure to be a hit.